Hey guys, Rumbling Man coming to you tonight from Florida, and in this video, I'm gonna show you an amazing new pedal from Fender. It is a two-in-one, and it is gonna knock your socks right off. <laughs> So you guessed it, tonight we are taking a look at Fender's new for 2019 Traverb pedal. Tremolo and reverb in one. I love tremolo and I love reverb, so you combine the two and it gets double the love from your friendly neighborhood rumbling man. This is awesome. You heard the intro music uh, just a moment ago and you're gonna hear a full demo in a few moments, but first what I wanna do is I wanna run through some of its key features with you because this thing rocks and rules. My first look at Fender's new pedals was actually at the NAMM show this past January, um, and I was immediately interested in how they might sound, and mainly I was at the initially, mainly because they look so cool. And when it comes to sound quality and construction, these pedals are simply breathtaking. I know, I know that's an extreme word, but yes, it, this does actually, when I opened this, it did take my breath away. I was breathless as well as speechless, but the words I was thinking in my head were, man, this thing looks cool and smells great. Visually, they're in this gorgeous anodized aluminum casing. And each pedal comes in its own unique color. So this one's this beautiful blue color. There's like a green one, uh, which is the marine reverb pedal that I really want. Uh, the icing on the cake, however, is the backlit LED lights that just come on with the flip of a switch. Like the whole thing lights up. You'll see it in just a sec when it's, uh, when it's initiated. It is so incredibly cool. So basically each effect has three modes that you can select with the little toggle switches here. And then with the knobs, you can actually control the attributes of those effects. Uh, the modes on the tremolo effect include opto, which gives you the tremolo sounds produced by the blackface Fender amps that we all love from the early 60s. And this type of tremolo, it can be associated with surf or country music, but you know what? It can be used for so much more than that. Next down with the toggle switch of the tremolo, we have bias. And bias gives you warm, lush, tube bass tremolo sounds. Um, bias modulation tremolo was standard in many of Fender's early tremolo amps, uh, most notably the Tweed Tremulux for you big time Fender amp fans out there like myself. Uh, last but not least, we have an HM, and that's going to be for harmonic vibrato style tremolo. And this type of tremolo, uh, it might be a little more rare, a little more obscure, but it's found in a number uh, of the early brown face amps, uh, the Blonde Pro amps by Fender, and it has a really cool sound to it. It may be my favorite, may not be, I'll tell you in a second. But yeah, uh, the cool thing about these pedals is not only do they sound absolutely phenomenal, no idea how they did it, they're kind of a history lesson in themselves. Likewise, over here with the reverb side of the pedal, we have three styles of reverb. One's a 63 spring reverb, which essentially gives you the sound of Fender's early brown-faced era reverbs. Uh, then we have the 65 spring reverb, and this style gives you the classic blackface reverb sounds. I love those. A little warmer tone, really friendly to rock music. And then third, we have my personal favorite of the reverbs, which is the plate. You can get the big splashy sounds that we all love so much, and you'll, you'll see that in a bit. I really, uh, I'm really having a lot of fun with this pedal. So the controls for the reverb setting are tone, blend, and dwell with these knobs. And then on the tremolo side, we have level, rate, and depth with these knobs right here. And very cool feature, we have this little LED light, and what it does is it blinks in time with the rate of the tremolo. And that, for me personally, that visual cue is a good helper of whether I'm in the right place or not. A Couple other really cool things to be aware of uh, are that the pedal has true stereo, uh, featuring left and right input and output jacks. This allows you to integrate this pedal into your stereo signal chains. Um, and it's true stereo, um, so really, I mean, if, if you're just bypassing it, it's not going to hurt your sound. It's very friendly to the big picture. Uh, all of Fender's new pedals are very friendly to the big picture. Honestly, if I could have a pedal board with just all of these on it, then I would really like that. This also has a pass switch um, up here on the back of it, and that's going to allow you to place the reverb effect before the tremolo effect or the tremolo before the reverb just like if they were two separate 
pedals on your pedal board, which is really nice because there's going to be a lot of, you know, a whole range of preferences as far as that goes. <sighs> Enough of my rambling. Just kidding. No, actually, before you go and before you click the link and before you go get your tray verb, please stay right here on the Rumbling Man channel and listen to this demo because we're going to plug this thing up and we are going to give it a go and let you have a little taste in your ears of just how it sounds, what these features sound like, uh, and some of the tones, some of my favorite tones, some of the ones that you can get out of this pedal. So let's have a look at some of this pedal's features uh, this evening. Uh, honestly, I, uh, I plugged it up a little bit last night uh, and got to experiment with it, and uh, I'm just really stoked to do this uh, review today. So uh, what are we using for the demo? This is a Fender uh, American Special uh, Tele. They don't make these anymore. They've been replaced by the American Performer Series, some of those guitars and basses, which I'm reviewing a little bit. Uh, Texas Special Pickups, and I am running straight into the pedal, and the pedal alone into a Bandit 112 amp and it's gonna sound great. And honestly, I'm just a hardcore Fender kind of guy using my Fender 0.88 millimeter pick. They are better than the Dunlop ones. Just saying, they keep their texture longer, but you know, could just be me. So let's have a look at how it sounds. I just wanna dive into, we already talked about a few of the features, but I wanna kinda of dive into what they sound like. After all, you are watching a review slash demo and you do wanna know what they sound like. So right now we've got just the tremolo turned on. Um, I want to go up here to the opto setting and just kind of give you a little taste of what that can sound like. It's very in your face, very in your face kind of tremolo. Very nice. It, it, uh, I don't know what word comes to mind. Staccato? Does the word staccato, does that, does that describe it? I don't really know. I don't have a music education. I just review gear, guys. I, I was just born with a guitar in my hands, and it just went all downhill from there. So, it's so like we spoke about a little while ago. We got the three modes. That was a little bit of opto. Um, we got the three knobs here. We're going to have uh, the overall level um, of the tremolo, how much tremolo exactly you want. We're going to have rate right here, and this blinking light is going to be a visual sample of that rate. And then right here we have our field of audio depth with this knob. So obviously if you really want to crank in the tremolo, you're just going to take the depth up as much as you can. And then rate can be set a number of ways. I mean, you can set the rate using this knob. You can also go with the BPM uh, of the song you're playing simply by holding down the tremolo pedal for just a moment and then tapping your tempo. But what I want to do is I just want to give you an, an example with this opto reverb of what a lot of rate and a lot of depth are going to sound like. Kind of reminds me of surfer music a little bit, like if you're playing a jazz master or something and then you just really hit that tremolo, you know? You know what I like about this opto tremolo? It has a more organic sound than the kind of tremolos that I grew up using. I grew up using like a Line 6 Spider tremolo, which I, which I liked, but there weren't as many options and it didn't have this organic raw amp sound. How they got this thing to sound so close uh, to the old Fender amps, uh, I don't even know how they did it. So very cool sounds with the opto and then obviously, you know, you don't want that fast thing going then you can Take the rate way down. You can take the depth down for a more subtle trim. Ooh, love that wave there. That's nice. Man, I really like that. Very cool. Now let's check out how the bias tremolo sounds. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, that's, ah, uh, oh. like, especially, especially like praise and worship music, like while your pastor is preaching or something, like right before the invitation and the service is over, you know, maybe you're doing some noodling behind him. I don't know, some people might think it's distracting, but I sure think it's cool.
it doesn't have that staccato uh, character to it. It's like it's a little more smooth. It's like if you put a, uh, like if you're speaking in video language, like if you put a, uh, like a blur transition on it, or like if you put a crossfade on it or something. I mean, I'm trying to speak in like today's digital terms, when quite honestly, back in the 1960s, with analog stuff, that's when they got it right. Yeah, man, and we wouldn't be where we are today if it weren't for Fender Started. So keep in mind, you know, when you get pedals um, from other brands, uh, and amp simulators from other brands that, that simulate these same sounds from the early Fender amps. I mean, that's very cool that they do that and there's some wonderful products out there, but to me, there's just nothing wrong with going with the original and that's why I prefer to play Fender's guitars and basses and that's why I really love their pedals and amps. So, um, let's go in and check out the harmonic uh, style tremolo here. I want to turn the depth up a little bit here, um, just so I can get a little more of a feel for how this sounds. It's almost that more warbly kind of sound. Maybe you, people will use the word warble. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. What happens if we turn the level of the tremolo up? <laughs> then obviously you really get the uh, warble action cranking. You turn up the rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so for you guys out there playing surfer music i mean yeah you know having a tremolo on your guitar uh, is a wonderful thing but quite honestly sometimes it's hard to beat a great tremolo pedal so let's uh, hop over and take a look at the reverbs individually as well as i'm sure you really want to hear how those sound so I'm just going to simply pop the tremolo off and I'm going to pop the reverb on. All right. So we'll start at the top, just like we did with the tremolo. Uh, this will be the 63 spring reverb setting. So we got the tone up at about noon. Maybe we can put the blend up at about noon. Um, dwell maybe at about one o'clock here. <laughs> just one of those spring reverbs that just makes you want to play you know you, you don't you don't turn it on and then just sit there okay those chords sounded cool it just makes you want to play one thing I kind of struggle with I do some production on the side of worship tracks and things like that I kind of struggle sometimes when I'm using different reverb effects um, with trying to roll out some of the high end. And there will be a little bit of the, uh, you know, there will be high cuts and low cuts. And sometimes with the digital software out there, I'm not really happy um, with the EQs that I can get um, adjusting the EQ of reverb. However, if you'll check this out, right here, we have this tone switch. So if I want to roll out high end, I can take this as far over to the left as I'd like. That's cool. That's just cool. And see, that's that 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 kind of gave me exactly what I wanted to hear with that 63 spring reverb. I love reverb. What can I say? All right. So let's go 
to the 65, which as we mentioned a little bit earlier, is gonna sound more like uh, more of the early blackface amps, which so I'd imagine, in my personal opinion, it's gonna be really good for rock music of any type. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to the middle position on the Telecaster here. Now, I'm not hearing enough of it for my personal ears, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the dwell a bit. I'm going to crank the blend a bit. You know what that sound reminds me of? Reminds me of when I was a kid, uh, just listening to my dad's band play in just big rooms, you know, whether it was a big hall or an arena. Just the way, uh, the way those Fender amps that they were using, they always had Fender Twins and uh, and amps like that uh, in my dad's band when I was a kid. And uh, just the way the sound would bounce around the room, man. They really capture something nice here, but if you want to hear more high end in the reverb, you know, we can take the tone up. Too much dwell, maybe? Not enough blend, maybe? No problem. Just to give you an example of some more of the variety that you can get here, um, let's go back to the harmonic tremolo and uh, for the reverb, let's go back to the 65. I really like how it sounds. Maybe take the dwell down a little bit and then bring the tone back up slightly so we don't have too dark of a reverb. I know that um, probably one in a million dark reverb fans, but there's non-dark reverb fans out there as well. Let's just play with it a little bit this way and see how it sounds. Um, I want to take a little bit of the depth back this up. Uh, that looks good to me, right? As always, God bless you guys, and thank you so much for checking out this video today, for clicking on my thumbnail. If you like the demo today and like the review, if you think the pedal rocks like I do, go on and give me a thumbs up button. And if you want to see more pedal reviews, more reviews of Fender products and all kinds of uh, musical instruments, uh, guitars, basses, amps, strings, things of that nature, go on and hit that subscribe button. I want to send a couple personal shout outs. Uh, one is going to be to Fender, uh, to Ali and the gang uh, at Fender Guitars for sending this pedal out uh, and allowing me the opportunity to do a demo and review of it. It's been a really cool experience tonight. Also to Sean at Creative Digital Media. They are a great production company based right here in Florida and he helped me out filming this video today and with some of the editing and things of that nature. Make sure you check out their website. I'll put their Facebook page and their website and their YouTube and all that in the video description. Speaking of the video description, the products used in this video, with the exception of this particular bandit, I'll put a newer bandit, but uh, the products in this video will be listed in the video description with links where you can pick them up for yourself. If you like this pedal, you can go in and grab it today. And if you go with Amazon and get you a Prime account, you're gonna get fast, free shipping. It'll be at your door like that and you'll be rocking this week. You really will be, okay? Um, I am on Patreon and, uh, and PayPal uh, for donations as I'm currently running my channel on absolutely zero budget and I could use your help to continue bringing the best videos your way that I possibly can and it's going to be great. And on the screen around me right now you'll probably see uh, some thumbnails of a couple other videos of products that have helped me out and that I think are really cool. Go on to click on those and share this channel with your friends. We need to get the word out about the greatest gear available and that's what I'm here to do. As always, God bless and I'll see you soon.